What is the power of coaching? And what difference can it make to psychological well-being, energy and resilience? I'm Dr. Rebecca Newton, organizational psychologist, master practitioner, coach and mentor with the EMCC, CEO of coaching and leadership development consultancy, Coach Advisor, and senior visiting fellow at the London School of Economics and Political Science in the Department of Management. I look forward to our session on the power of coaching, where together we explore why coaching for leaders is more important than ever. After more than two years of uncertainty and increased pressure, professionals are seeking ways to rebuild their strength. Based on findings from the latest empirical research, I share insights on how coaching can make a positive difference and practical examples of how coaching has played a powerful role in client transformation. The goal of this session is to create forums for sharing new ideas, reflection, and peer discussion on fostering psychological well-being, energy, and resilience through coaching. I hope that you can join us. Thank you. Well, thank you very much to Fisher for inviting us to be with you today. It is a great pleasure to be with you. Oh, 非常感谢 Fisher 的今天的邀请，然后很荣幸在这里跟大家相见。We are very excited that mentoring is so important in China,、uh, and we hope to have a good discussion today. 那么我们听听到说导师辅导在中国非常的重要，我们感到非常的高兴。然后今天呢，也跟大家对此做详细的讨论。And thank you to IC for doing translation for me today. My Mandarin is not very good. <laughs> thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Okay, so today we will have a look at the power of mentoring, psychological well-being, energy, and resilience. 呃，今天呢，我们将讨论导师辅导的力量，然后包括心心理幸福感、能量和复原力。Because we are all involved in mentoring, this is an opportunity for everybody to share. I will share some ideas, and I would like to hear from you as well, from your perspective and your experience. 那么呢，在导师辅导中当中呢，最重要的是分享。那今天呢，我将给大家做一些观点分享。那接下来呢，也会给大家机会来一起分享。As mentors, it is our commitment to help our clients with their psychological well-being, with their energy and their resilience, particularly now after a very difficult couple of years. 那在导师辅导当中呢，我们作为导师也非常有必要帮助客户去提升他们的心理幸福感，提升他们的能量和复原力。特别是在这几年，我们在正在经历非常艰难的时期，这尤为重要。So when we are mentoring people, um, I want I no, forget that. I see. Um, what I would like is for you, everybody here, to have a think of one or two people that they have mentored. Where the conversation has focused around their well-being, their energy, or their resilience. So, if I think about that, and then what was their goal, and how did they describe their feelings or experience? 那今天呢，就是我希望大家来，比如说每，因为我们每个人在接触客户的时候都会有一些想法，然后今天大家呢可以回回忆。有这样一到两个客户，然后我们在跟他们会议的焦点呢，就是心理幸福感、能量和复原力。然后想一想他们的目标是什么，然后他们又是如何描述他们的感受和体验的。Of course, we will respect the the confidentiality, and people will stay anonymous.、Um, however, please type in the chat some of your client experiences. Some of the things that you are hearing that they are challenged with, with regards to their well-being and energy, you can type in the chat box. 呃，大家呢也可以在那个聊天框中打出来，因为有时候我们也会要需要尊尊重他人的隐私。那可以在聊天框中打出来，也可以分享。可能一下还没有来得及思考吧，先讲，我们想起来再分享。
And perhaps I need some time to think of that. Yeah. Okay. So let's leave this. We will put this as a reflection question for you to take away, so that you can think about what what are you hearing from your mentees? What are you hearing from them? And just to reflect on how you can support them in your mentoring. 那这个问题呢，我们就可以留给大家，就是另外去思考，就是在你跟呃学员做导师辅导过程当中，你听到了什么？然后就是，然后你又再去思考，你是如何。然后支持他们，帮助他们的。Okay, so I will share some things, and then I will invite you to share again later on. 那我呢会先分享一些给大家，然后呢再交由大家来分享。Okay, now we are going to have a look at the reasons why we have so many challenges right now with well-being, energy, and resilience. 好，现在让我们来看一看，就是。为什么现在在幸福感、能量和复原力方面的挑战越来越多 ？Here are the some of some of the reasons why the people who we mentor may be struggling right now. 这里呢会有几个原因，就是是这些原因，然后导致我们的学员可能在生活中遇到一些困难，遇到一些难题。Okay, let's have a look at each of these in turn. 让我们一一来看。One of the things we know what intense pressure feels like. When we feel too much pressure, then we start to decrease our performance. 然后，当我们可能面对压力太多的时候，然后我们的可能表现力就会下降。And over the last two years, in particular, professionals have experienced so much extra pressure. 那特别是在过去的两年里，我们专业人专业人士也遇到了非常多的压力。In addition to that, for the last two years, we have had a lot of uncertainty. 就此外呢，在过去的两年里，我们也遇到了很多的不确定性。And situations where we don't have certainty, that is energy intensive. It takes away our energy. 当我们遇到那些可能存存在不确定性的情况的时候，它会消耗我们很多的能量。Some of the research in applied neuroscience suggests that uncertainty acts in our brain like an error message. Error, error, error. 那就是研究表明呢，就是神经科学研究表明，就是在那个。不确定性当存在于我们大脑里的时候，它会产生在我们大脑里会产生很多错误的信息，就是我们大脑里可能不断的迸发出错误、错误、错误这样的信息。So it is very exhausting. It can be very exhausting. And when we are mentoring, people might talk to you about how difficult it is with so much uncertainty and pressure. 所以就是因为在这种情况下，它会。非常耗费我们的精力，让我们感到精疲力竭。所以在我们就是面对学员的时候，他们可能会跟你讲，在面对这些不确定性和压力的时候，他们感觉到有多难。Another reason that people are feeling drained and de-energized is sometimes needing to show up as okay, even though things are very difficult. 那第二个原因呢，就是。不真实，因为很多时候我们可能感觉非常的累，没有活力，但是又觉得自己好像必须表现出我很好，我没问题的状态，所以会展现出不真实的一面。This is particularly true for the leaders who we mentor, because leaders have to carry a lot of responsibility, and to keep everything going when it has been so difficult to say it's okay, I'm all right, I can cope. And really, they are finding things very difficult. 那这种情况呢，在领导者身上表现的特别多，因为他们身上承担的很多的责任。然后这个时候，但是要让事情呢，一切有条不紊的进行。所以在他们面对困难的时候，他们要经常说：“我很好，我没事，我能应对。” This is important because authenticity is one of the strongest predictors of psychological well-being. 但真实呢又非常的重要，因为
，真实是心理幸福感它最强有力的指标之一。A further reason why people are finding things difficult, why our mentees are finding things difficult now, is that they have been unable to play to their strengths. 那么，然后第三个原因呢，就是为什么？就是我们的学员经常感到特别的难，是因为他们无法发挥自己的优势。In the last two years, we have just had to get things done. We have had to do the work that needed to be done, regardless of whether that gave us energy or not. 那在过去两年里呢，因为我们必须做很多的事情，我们一直在做自己的工作，然后也不会去想这个事情。就是对我的能量影响如何 ？But strengths are very powerful, and they are unique to us. 但是优势又非常的重要，因为它也是我让我们处于独一无二的重要特质。Of all the thousands of people who may watch this video, nobody has the same strengths. 就是现在可能有，就是上千人在看今天的讲座。但我相信每个人呢都是独一无二的。Some of the research suggests that the likelihood of anyone having the same strengths as you is one in three hundred and forty-six thousand. 那么研究表明，可能就是大家，呃，很多人，就所有人当中可能具备同一优势的概率是三三十四万六千分之一。And we know that strengths can be catalysts for bringing joy to work, for bringing, for bringing energy and enjoyment at work. 那优势呢，又是我们在工作当中，然后产生喜悦感和能量的催化剂。So in our mentoring, we use a profile strength scope in order to help people understand their strengths so that they can rebuild their energy. 所以在导师辅导过程当中呢，我们也会经常对学员的优势进行分析，然后让他充分的了解自己的优势。Okay, and finally, another reason why people are feeling so de-energized and drained right now is perceived social isolation. 那最后一个原因呢，为是为什么大家感到就是能量下降的一个原因，就是因为感觉到。Over the last two years, we have had a lot of changes in the way that people work. 而在过去的两年里呢，大家的工作方式发生了很大的变化。And sometimes the people who we are working with, but who we are mentoring, they feel alone. 因为有时候我们在面对学员的时候，发现他们感到非常的孤独。What it It's not just that they are alone, but the feeling of being alone. You can feel alone in a crowd. Wait, 不只是说他可能说就是人感到孤独，更多的是他可能从情感上感觉孤独。因为我往往有时候我们在人群当中也会感觉孤独。And this has an impact on our executive functioning. So the research. No, your head, Nancy. 然后这个呢就影响到了我们的执行功能。The research in applied neuroscience shows that feeling socially isolated can reduce people's ability to work well, to sustain attention, and reduces their ability to deal with novelty and change. 那么呢，我们的神经科学研究也表明呢，当你感到社交孤立的时候呢，也会使它也会使你的工作能力下降，然后也。会分散你的注意力，同时呢，也会影响你的创新能力。So let's have a look at why why mentoring is so important. 好，让我们来看为什么导师辅导是如此的重要。I'm sure there are other reasons as well why some of the people you mentor are experiencing reduced psychological well-being, energy, and resilience. 那我相信呢，就是还有。其他的原因，然后让你的客户感到他的心理幸福感、他的能量以及复原力都出现了下滑
And this is an opportunity for all of us who work in mentoring and who are passionate about mentoring to understand what is happening in the workplace around the world. 那么我想这也是一个机会，就是让我们就是对导师辅导充满热情，然后在为此做此工作的人也去理解，在这个世界，呃，目前都发生了什么。So let's have a look at the power of mentoring. 好，让我们看看那个导师辅导的力量。Here is some research that was done looking where people are one to one having one to one conversations. Um, where they are focused on helping them move forward. 那么最近呢，也有一些一对研研究，然后就是呢，呃，研究呢也是做了一对一的对话，然后这个研究呢主要是也是得出是什么，然后让他们一直就是前进。This relationship can help people to achieve their goals. 那么这样导师这种关系呢，它也是帮助他们去实现目标。it reduces depression, it increases resilience, and it helps them be able to deal with change well. Mentoring helps people to feel like they can move forward. When I am mentoring clients, sometimes they feel like their work, like they are treading water. So they are just very, very busy, but staying in the same place, just trying to stay afloat. In mentoring, our goal is to help people be productive and move forward in a healthy way. The reason mentoring is so important for leaders is that um, Leading other people is associated with first leading themselves well. So if we are mentoring leaders, then that will have a wider impact on the people who they lead and, and their teams. 那这样，当我们在就是辅导领导者的时候，这也是能够帮助他们更好的领导他们自己，包括去领导他以及他们的团队。At Coach Advisor, we call it the ripple effect, like in water, it keeps rippling. The effect of just one mentoring experience can have such a big ripple effect in teams and organizations. 那在就是我们 Coach Advisor 这家公司呢，我们也看到了。那个联谊效应，特别是在这个导师辅导过程当中，因为我发现就是我们既能帮助团队，同时也能帮到组织，所以产生了一个非常良性的联谊效应。So how can mentoring make a positive impact on others in terms of psychological well-being? 所以导师辅导它如何能在心理幸福感方面发挥积极的作用呢？ we will now go to a short break, a quick break. So in groups of three or four, you can discuss this question. We will just take five minutes. Breakouts? Yes, thank you. So maybe Wendy or Chris, you will share with us as a start. We'd like to hear from each of the groups what you talked about. How can 
how can mentoring or coaching mentoring, Chris, you asked about, is it, is it mentoring or coaching mentoring? What I'm talking about is closer to coaching mentoring where we are giving people space. We're asking good questions, helping them to find a way forward to set their goals. Sorry, I see. I forgot to pause for translation. <laughs> yeah. So, now, just, uh, 教育大家, just, 每个组呢, 大家都来分享一下, uh, when you are please, 大家都可以来分享一下你们刚才的讨论. So, I invite you to share. Maybe Chris or Wendy, you'll start. Can you share with us what you feel is the power of coaching, mentoring in psychological well-being? So, uh, before I answer, can I uh, confirm with Chris, I will uh, mention part of relationship and then we'll talk about awareness. Is that okay? Yeah. I will talk about it. We have talked about two points. One is relationship and the other is relationship. So for me, I think the psychological well-being and uh, when we do mentor or coaching is we are facing this person and we build a new relationship. Uh, and through this supportive and the space we build for this mentee or coachee, um, made him or her feel that he or she can be okay, uh, can confess his difficulties, can share about her uh, real deep emotions and frustrations. It's like a support, I think. Yes. Yes. I can translate myself. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm finished. Thank you. Yes, Wendy, and thank you for sharing. It's such an important point. And one of the reasons that coaching and mentoring is so powerful in creating this space is because we create psychological safety. Are you familiar with, maybe I see you just want to say that? Yes. One of the important things that we create is psychological safety. Yes, uh, thank you for 它就是如此的重要，对于我们的那个心理幸福感的，因为它是一个我们就是为学员创造空间的途径，然后就在这个空这样的空间里面，然后我们帮助学员去建立心理上的安全感。A space, space where people feel that they can share their ideas, their thinking, their feeling without worrying about being judged. 就是在这样的空间里呢，然后学员他能够去分享自己的观点，然后去思考、去感受，而不用担心可能自己会受到评判。And if you are interested in psychological safety, I recommend Amy Edmondson's book. She's from Harvard Business School and has a book called The Fearless Organization. 呃，如果你们大家对那个心理安全那个有感兴趣的话，我可以推荐呃一本书。uh, excuse me, the author, the name of the author is oh, Amy Edmondson. Amy Edmondson. Uh, Fearless Organization. Fearless Organization. Thank you, I see. Okay, let's hear from, um, oh, thank you for sharing, Wendy, in the name in Chinese. Uh, and so, can I please invite somebody else to share from a different group? 对，我可以就是邀请其他小组的成员来分享一下吗？ 就我们刚才分了五个小组，然后其他四个小组有没有成员来也分享一下？因为我的英文没那么好啊，我就还是用中文来表达。呃，我们这个讨论的时候呢，就是我们觉得。导师辅导要给学员带来幸福感呢，就是可能要首先要要导师要让他呃这个帮助他，就是发现他自身的价值，挖掘他自身的价值，让他觉得有成就感、有价值感，这是第一个方面可以去呃为学员创造幸福感的
和他共情，呃，就是就是通过想跟他找到共同的主题和话题话题来做。呃，疏导、减压，或者说来给他呃更多的鼓励和支持，这样的话呢，可能会让学员会有更多的这个创造更多的幸福感。这是我们讨论的观点。谢谢。嗯，呃、uh, ，Yes， the result of the discussion in my group is that， uh， we think that there are two points for the importance of mentoring in psychological well-being of mentees. First, the mentor can help the mentees discover their self values and help them develop a sense of achievement. And second, the mentor can show empathy with the mentee, and the mentor the mentor can can find the common topics for that to help the mentee to relieve their pressure and show encouragement and support. So, so that we can bring more well being to the mentees. Yes, excellent. Thank you, thank you, Danny. Thank you.、Uh, is there one more group who would like to share? 其他小组还有想要分享的吗 ？Uh, this is a group four. Uh, Jack and I, and、uh, there is another friend. Um, we we did basically summarize what we discussed. The first thing is uh, in the either uh mentoring or coaching, we need to. Uh, inspire uh, the client to really to recognize they are capable be there or they were there already, but sometimes they forget. And、yes. the second point is that、uh, each individual is unique. We need to follow their flow, working on that. Yes,、uh, Jack, thank you. Jack, anything you want to add, please. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle, would you like to translate, or Icy can do it? Yes, yes. And、uh, I'm from Group Four, and the results of our discussion. And there are two points we want to share. The first is that in mentoring and or coaching, as as a mentor or coach can inspire the mentee to be true, to be authentic, as to to recognize their abilities that they are. They are being present because because、uh, there are sometimes that we can forget about ourselves. And the second is that each person is unique, and we can. 就每个人呢都是就是独一无二点的是每个人都是独一无二的。然后我们每个人都可以就是抓住自己的优势来，然后来做出成绩。Great, thank you, Icy, and thank you, Michelle. Um, would anybody else like to share before we move on? Maybe that's everyone. Well, this is very interesting. Thank you for sharing your views. So, 非大家的讨论非常有趣，非呃，感谢大家分享自己的观点。I always feel that it is such when we talk about the power of mentoring. I always feel that it is such a privilege to play this role and to support people in this way. 然后就是每当我就是谈到导师辅导力量的时候呢，我都感觉自己非常的荣幸能去承担导师的角色，然后给予他人支持。So let's come back to this same the reasons why people are feeling so challenged right now, and then look at how we can help them in mentoring in these ways. 所以现在让我们来再看一下，就是为什么现在就遇到了。越来越多的挑战，然后我们就是作为导师是如何能帮助学员去应对这些挑战。And before we do that, I just want to talk about the change in the field of mentoring. 然后在此之前呢，我想跟大家讨论一下，就是在导师辅导这个领域的一些变化。Traditionally, mentoring was much more a, a relationship with a power dynamic where If I am the mentor, I am more senior than you. <laughs>、um, traditionally, if I'm the if I'm the mentor, I am more senior than you, and I tell you what I think you should do. This is in the past. 那么在过去呢，就是导师辅导，就导师跟学员之间的关系呢，它有存存在着一个
权力的动态，是权力动态关系。因为导师那个时候可能因为层级比学员高，然后导师告诉学员，学员他应该做什么。Well, it's important to share our stories and to offer、um, advice. Mentoring has changed a lot now. 对，就是在辅导过程当中呢，跟学员分享故事，给予建议呢是非常重要的。然后现在呢，就是很多事情都发生了变化。Now we see the research showing that what is most powerful is coaching-style mentoring. 那么现在我们发现，就是一个非常强有力的东西是，就是导师辅导中的教练技术。What this means is that instead of just telling my mentee what to do, let me um maybe I will pretend with Wendy. Is that okay, Wendy? I pretend that I'm mentoring you. So I will act as a mentee. Yeah,、okay. as a mentee. So you're、okay. a mentee, and I'm、okay. a mentor, right? Okay. Okay. So if I'm mentoring Wendy, Wendy, Wendy is my mentee. I'm the mentor. In the past, I would be telling her. She would come to me with a problem, and I say, "Wendy, this is what you should do. I have been in this situation before, and this is what I did. And then I think you should do this and this and this." 呃，就比如说我现在是导师，然后 Wendy 呢，她就是我的学员，然后我在。帮他做那个导师辅导，就在过去的时候，可能他带着带着问题了，然后我可能会问他，就是直接告诉他你应该怎么做，因为之前我可能也遇到过这样的事情，然后我过去是怎么做的，然后现在呢，你也怎么做。Nowadays, modern mentoring is much more mentee-led. 那么现在呢，这个导师辅导的关系呢，更多的是聚焦在学员身上。So I have a belief. That Wendy is creative, resourceful, whole. That she is able to find a way forward. 那么现在呢，就是我会相信 Wendy 她本身她是她本身是有创创造性的，而且她本身具备了很多资源，她自己能够找到解决问题的答案。So I want to understand what, not just what is Wendy's challenge, but also what is Wendy's goals and what matters to her. What are her values and what's important? 那这个时候呢，我不仅会关注 Wendy 她遇到了什么挑战，然后我更多的也会关注她的目标、她的信仰、她的价值观。And instead of just telling her what to do, I'm using powerful questions to help her to find a way forward. 那么现在呢，我不会说，就是告诉他怎么做做，然后我会用强有力的提问，然后帮助他找到问题的出口。Once I use this coaching mentoring, then if it's appropriate, I can still share my stories to help her. 那么在就是导师辅导过程当中的教练技术呢，我们我呢依然可以跟他分享我的故事。But I show I help Wendy to find her own way forward, and I show compassion and empathy. 那这个时候呢，我但我会帮助 Wendy， 她就自己去找到那个答案，然后同时我也会表现出自己的支持以及同情心、同理心。If I do this, I give Wendy a sense of agency. We call it agency that she has control. Over her situation, has power in her situation, and is able to make a difference to her situation. She has agency. In this situation, I give Wendy a sense of agency. Agency is in this situation. In this situation, I can let her have more control over her situation. 在当中有，还有有具备一定的力量，然后去威力、力量以及能力去处理这些事情。So a sense of agency balanced with knowing that she is supported and is being shown compassion. These two things together help Wendy to deal with pressure and uncertainty. 在。在这时候呢，就是他能够，我让他自己能够感受到自己是获得了支持与鼓励
，然后能够帮助他更好的去应对各种压力和不确定性。And in modern coaching mentoring, because I create psychological safety and this space where people feel they won't be judged, that they can be real, they can be true to themselves, they can share their thinking and feeling. It means that they feel in this relationship they can be authentic. 所以在现在呢，我为他创造了一个心理安全空间，然后在这个空间里，他会感受到自己没有被评判，他能够去呃真实的去面对自己，然后能够真实的去分享他的想法，以及真实的去感受，然后去感受到更多的表现出更多的真实。And Danny mentioned、uh, when we were discussing. Danny mentioned self value and achievement. We can help people realize they have self value and they are able to achieve. 就像刚才那个 Danny 分享的一样，就是这个导师辅导，它可以帮助学员能够感受到自己的价值和能够感拥有成就感。We're also able to help people, help our mentees. To identify their strengths, the unique things that give them energy. 同时呢，我们也能帮助学员去发现，能够赋予他们能量的他们的优点以及他们自己独一无二的地方。A great question that you can use in mentoring is to ask people: Think of two times in the last few months when you were really energized at work. What were you doing, and what results did you get? But here, 呢，就是有一个问题，大家可以就是这样问学员。有一个很棒的问题，就是让学员去想一想，在过去的几个月里，就是有没有哪两次让你在工作中觉得自己充满了能量？你当时是怎么做的？然后，呃，结果这样做的结果又是怎样的？ So we can support you with profiles if you'd like to do that for strengths for your mentees. But also, you can ask them the questions. Think about what brings you energy at work. What are your strengths at work? Not just what can you do well, not just skills, but what gives you energy at work, and help people to identify that in mentoring. 就是我们可以就是问向学员提问，然后是什么让他们就是在工作中充满能量的？然后他们的优势在哪里？就是不只是说关注他们可能在哪些方面做得很好，也就是不只是专注于他们的所具备的技能，是要帮助学员去发现他们就是什么让他们在呃工作当中是充满能量的，他们的优点。然后这个在导师辅导过程当中也是非常重要的。And then we help them. We help our mentees to work out how they can use their strengths at work more. How can they introduce more of their strengths into their work? Then we can help mentees to work out how they can use their strengths at work more. How can they introduce more of their strengths into their work? Then we can help mentees to work out how they can use their strengths at work more. How can they introduce more of their strengths into their work? So, for example, some of my clients are very energized by strategic thinking. Ah,、uh, 比如我举个例子，就是我的一些客户，然后他们会就是战略思考会帮助他们在工作中充满活力。But they are so busy, and there are so many demands on their time that they feel they don't have any space in their diary to do strategic thinking. They are just working, working, doing, doing. Emails, meetings, emails, meetings. No space for anything else. 但是他们真的就是太忙了，然后实在是分不出时间，也留不出这样的空间给自己，可能在记事本上做一些战略思考。然后他们就一直在工作，然后做各种各样的事件，然后穿梭在邮件跟会议当中，然后不能有这样的空间去做那个战略思考。And so, in mentoring, we look at ways to reshape the rhythm of their work. So, in the mentoring process, we use ways to help them, and then help them to reshape the rhythm of their work. So, in the mentoring process, we use ways to help them, and then help them to reshape the rhythm of their work. 
So maybe, for example, they just create one hour once a week for strategic thinking or half an hour every day for strategic thinking. And that gives them so much energy for all the rest of their work that they need to do. Or if somebody is very energized by developing others, then we look at how they can have more opportunities to develop the people and teams around them. 那么如果有些人呢，他会通过就是帮助提升他人，然后从而获得能量的话，那么我们也可以就是帮助他们一起寻找机会，呃，如何能够去更好的去提升，帮助提升他们周围的人。So you can you can reach out to me if I can support you with this, but strengths, I think, strengths-based mentoring is very powerful. 呃，如果大家就是。这方面想，就是如果想要了解更多的话，也可以联系我。所以就是基于优势的导师辅导呢，是非常有利的，是非常重要的。And then the other way that we can support people with their well-being, energy, and resilience is through reducing a sense of social isolation. 那另一种方法呢，就是可以呃提升五谷学员的能量和复原力的方法呢，就是减少他们。in the EMCC, we have a very clear code of ethics about how we work with our coaching and mentoring clients. 而在EMCC道德准则里面呢,对于导师和学员之间工作的方式呢,也有明确的界定。And within that, we can create a strong relationship, a strong, healthy mentor-mentee relationship or coach-coachy relationship where people feel connected. 可以，我们可以在这样的框架里去建立非常有力的导师学员关系，然后让学员觉得自己是跟他人有联系的。Never underestimate the power that you have as a mentor in helping people to feel heard and to be seen and to feel connected. 那永远不要低估你自己的能力，你能够帮助学员去。让他们觉得自己被倾听、被看见，然后也跟他人产生了联系. And we can encourage them in creating meaningful connections at work as well. 同时呢，我们也能够鼓励他们去在呃工作中能够呃产生非常大的意义. So I mentioned before that authenticity is one of the strongest predictors of well-being and that in the mentoring relationship, we are able to create space for people to feel that they can be authentic. For people to feel that they can be authentic at work, we need four key components. So this is my summary. These four points are my summary of the work and research in authenticity. Does anyone have any questions about this or anything we've discussed so far? I will pause for questions.
Any questions? I see, or shall I continue? Mm, da yo shumo wintima. Um, Rebecca? Yes, hello. Okay, can you put more words on the balance processing? I'm a little confused about it. I'll give you some for to explain. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. So, um, balance processing means that people feel that they are able to weigh up um, the different elements of a decision, with, that they are able to weigh it up rationally, the positive, the negative decisions uh, as, aspects, and then analyse it before they make their final decisions. So they don't feel that they have to be too rushed, but they also feel that they're not being pressured into one decision. 这里是关于那个平衡处理，就是在做最终决定之前呢，能够自己客观的就是分析相关的信息，然后自己能分清楚它的积极的一面跟它消极的一面，然后再做出最终的决策。而做决策的同时呢，也不会感觉到自己有压
she would not have the freedom to do balance processing. 对，如果这样的情况发生的话，那他就就仿佛在就是剥夺了他他的一些他的自由。哎，但这种情况下，在我们公司是不会发生的。我只是再举个例子。So you can see how the difference when we mentoring in the past, when we just kept telling people what to do, we weren't giving them a choice to weigh up the pros and cons for themselves and of situations. We weren't enabling balance processing. Now, as leaders and as mentors, we need to create an environment where people are able to weigh up the options and come to the decisions for themselves, engaging in balance processing. 那所以就是在导师辅导过程当中，因为在过去呢，我们会给学员跟他给呃，会直接给予他那个给他选择，给他建议。但这呢就不是平衡处理了，因为在现代呢，我们作为领导者，作为导师，我们会去创造这样的环境，然后让学员他自己，让学员让同事他自己去对选选择选择做出衡量，然后让他自己去做出决策。然后这就是平衡处理。Does that answer the question, Wendy? Yes, pretty makes sense. Thank you. Great, great. So it's a real opportunity that we have in mentoring to create all of these four components for our mentees. 所以在导师辅导过程当中呢，我们也是有了这样的机会，然后为学员去创造各种各样的因素，各种各样的那种环境。And Michelle, thank you for your question in the chat about、um, the changes in mentoring. And so、um, I've asked Kathy is going to share two of my articles on coaching and mentoring and why they're important from Forbes.、Uh, so you can see those resources.、Um, let me share with you one example of a client that I had recently. 就让我来给大家分享一下我最近呃在做导师辅导中的一个例子。I was asked to be his coach and mentor. 那我 ，I was, uh, excuse me. Oh, so um, I, I, how can I say this? I was asked to be his coach and his mentor, a senior leader in a professional services firm in London. Yeah, 然后呃是一位是一位伦敦的女士，然后她要求我去做她的导师。And he's responsible for a big part of the business. And everybody thought he's doing well, and he's okay. 然后呢，他负责一个就是非常大的业务，然后大家都觉得他表现做得非常好。And he says to me, Rebecca, I'm I'm nearly facing burnout. I'm not coping. It's not okay. 然后他跟我说，呃、uh, ，Rebecca， 我感觉我快就是我快，我真的就是太累了。我感觉我就是已经精疲力尽了。我觉得我。不能应对现在的情况了，然后我感觉我不太好。And I'm sure that you, as mentors, will also experience that sometimes people disclose things to you that they don't, they don't, they're not talking to anyone else about. 那我觉我相信大家在做导师辅导过程当中呢，也遇到过这样的情况，就是呃，学员他去做那个自我自我披露，然后也没有没有谈其他的人。And so, one of the things that we decided, you know, we talked about his strengths and his energizers.、Um, we talked about his,、um, you know, the the pressure and how he could handle the pressure of the role. 那然后我们呢，谈了他的他的优势，他的能量，然后也谈到他的压力以及他的职责。But the most important thing that we did in the mentoring relationship was finding a way that he felt comfortable to share with his peers and his boss that he was really struggling. 那所以在导师辅导过程当中呢，最要最重要的是就是我们帮助他，就是找到一个比较舒服的方式，能够让他跟他的。呃，同僚与他的老板去分享。And now six months on, he's in a much better place. 那六个月以后呢？他就是他的情况就变好了很多。As mentors, we don't want to create an over reliance 
of our mentee on a relationship with us. 因为在呃导师辅导关系当中呢，我们也就是不能让就是学员过度的依赖我们。We need to make sure that we are helping them to find a way to be supported and connected in their day-to-day work. 那我们要确信，然后我们在帮助学员找到一种方式，让他们让他们觉得自己在工作当中呢是受到了支持的，然后跟他人也是建立良好关系的。There's one more idea that I want to share with you today, which is around a construct that in psychology we call psychological capital. 那么今天呢，我还想跟大家分享一个心理学当中的一个概念，就是心理资本。So psychological capital is a resource that we have when we have all four components of these things. 那么心理资源呢？它也是我们所具备的，呃，主要是四个方面的内容。And maybe while I go through this, you can just think about yourself as a mentor right now. Do you have good psychological capital? 那么现在让我们一一来看。然后呢，大家自己也可以想一想，自己作为导师是否具备这样的心理资源 ？Because in order to support other people effectively as a as a coach as a mentor, we need to make sure we are looking after ourselves as well. 对，因为在我们就是呃能够那个有效的给予他人支持的时候呢，我们也要确保就是我们有很好的关注到自己。So when and when you are working with your Mentees, you can ask yourself, do they have these four things? So, in you meet the student, you can ask yourself, your student has these four things. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. It can help you to identify what to focus on. So, do they have hope? Do they have a sense of energy,、um, and they're moving forward to achieve goals? We talk about goals a lot in coaching and mentoring. Do they have a sense of energy towards achieving those goals? 对，然后看他们是否具备，首先是希望，然后看他们是否具备这样的能量，然后能够帮助他们去实现目标。Do they have optimism? Are they looking at events optimistically? So not, not toxic positivity. I'm not talking about pretending that everything is okay. That is unhelpful. So still being realistic, but having a sense of being able to have a positive outlook. 对，那第二个资源呢，就是乐观。他们是否乐观？然后在看待事情的时候呢，是否是否抱有积极的心态？那这个时候呢，是。一定要实事求是，不是说假装自己是积极的，呃，这样呢是也是没有帮助的，所以一定要要真正的去对事情抱有积极的看法。Optimism is being able to look at a situation and identify what is good, what is positive, but it's not about pretending that everything is okay all the time. 针对新兴产业的盲目投资和创业。那乐观乐观呢，就是当我们就是看待一切。一些情况的时候，然后我们能够去发现它是否是，是否是好的，它是否是正向的、积极的，而不是假装好像一切还不错。Then there's self-efficacy. Self-efficacy, we often think of as confidence, right? But it's self-efficacy is the psychological term. It's feeling that we have the ability to achieve difficult and meaningful goals. 那么第三个呢是自我效能感，自我效能感呢，也就是要首先是自信，它是心理学上的术语，然后也是让一个人呢觉得他自己有能力，有能力去实现很困难和有意义的目标。And then the last component of psychological capital is resilience. Resilience is、uh, the ability to bounce back from difficulty and challenge. 那最后一个呢是复原力。那复原力就是一个人他具备从困难和挑战中复原的能力
It's important to know that resilience is about how we come back from challenges. It's not that we never experience challenges. So to make sure our mentees know it's okay that things can be difficult. What matters is do we have good strategies for how we come back from those difficult things? So, uh, 复原力这一点呢，呢比较重要的就是说，呃，是从知道如何从挑战中，然后能够复原。呃，并不是说好像你从来没有挑体验过这样的挑战，一定是经历过这样的挑战的。然后这样也是我们可以帮助学员。然后知道知道，就是你遇到困难，这是很正常的。重要的是你能够找到方法，然后找到策略，然后从这样的挑战中恢复过来。If someone has all four of these components, then we have we say they have a strong psychological capital. 那如果一个人他同时具备了这四个资源的话，我们会说这个人拥有非常强大的心理资本。Psychological capital is not fixed. It's not, you know, you might not. We don't say, oh, one person has low psychological capital and another person has a high one. It's not fixed. So, as mentors, we have the ability to help people to increase their psych cap, their psychological capital. 那心理资源呢？它也不是固定的。就作为导师呢，我们是有能够能够帮助学员去提升他所拥有。Now, the reason this matters is that psychological capital is shown in the research to be positively related to job satisfaction, so people feel more satisfied with their work, their physical health, and their psychological well-being, and it's negatively related to job stress and anxiety. 所以，心理资本为什么如此重要呢？因为有研究表明，因为心理资本它与我们的工作、工作满足、健康和心理幸福感是正相关的，而与工作压力和焦虑呢，则是负相关的。So, um, I, do you know? What? I don't think we'll do this because we don't have much time. But I want you to think about in mentoring or in coaching mentoring, how can you help people? To build their psychological capital, all right. So we will do this as a takeaway instead to think about how can you help people to build their psychological capital, your mentees. 那么今天因为由于时间原因的话，我们呢不做具体的讨论。但是呢，呃，希望大家呢去自己自己仔细思考一下，就是导师辅导或者教练，你是如何能够帮助客户去建立心理资本。Okay, um, so we will pause now for questions.、Um, what I encourage you to do is you can share your favorite books. If you have books on coaching, mentoring that you love, you can share those in the chat so that everyone can see them.、Um, have a think about the questions and what people shared. We're going to save the chat and send that to you, and also you will get a copy of the recording. Now, 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 首先呢，大家可以在就是聊天框中分享大家呃非常喜爱的图书还有资源，然后包括你的同伴他的一些见解，你也可以分享出来，然后大家思考一下，然后大家可以把你的呃大家的记录，然后一起保存，然后共享。Thank you. Um, and maybe Kathy, you can put your email in the chat in case anyone on this call has any questions or wants to to connect to reach out. Um. So please reach out to us if you have any follow-up questions. I would like to finish by talking about some interesting research that shows the impact that coaching or mentoring has on us. Ah,、uh, 这里呢，我有一个非常有趣的研究结果要呃跟跟大家分享一下，它是关于呃导师教练就是对我们自己的影响。It's based on the work of Richard Boyatzis and his colleagues. 呃，这个是源自 Excuse me, his name. His name is Professor Richard Boyatzis and colleagues. He's a professor at Case Western Reserve at、uh, in America. 呃，他是呃一位叫
是那个 Richard 的教授和他的同事他们呃得出的结果。And what they found, so they looked at. We spend a lot of time thinking about what impact does coaching and mentoring have on the person being coached and mentored, the coaches and mentors. We spend a lot of time thinking about that, right? And, and rightly so, it has a positive impact. 对，因为我们呃花了很多的时间，然后去思考，就是导师、教练这样的辅导能够对学员他们能带来什么样的影响。In this research, they had a look at the impact on us, all of us on this call, and all of, all of those of you listening who are coaches and mentors. Right. 然后现在他们的研究呢，更多的是聚焦就是导师、教练，就辅导师对我们自己的影响是怎样的。They they call it coaching with compassion. 他们呃把它称作 coaching with passion， 就是。呃，带着同情、同情心做教练指导。When you spend time with somebody one to one, focusing on their goals and helping them move forward. 因为当你面对客户的时候，跟他们做一对一交流，然后聚焦他们的目标的时候，你会帮助他们，然后找到他们接近目标的方式。So we can do this in coaching, coaching or in modern mentoring as well. 我们可以，呃，既在导师辅导当中，也可以在教练当中这样做。What happens is that、um, they had a look at at what they call power stress, the stress that comes with the responsibility of leading people. 然后他们呃发现呢，得出了一个词是叫做 power stress stress， 就是权力压力。这个主要是。关于，因为领导者他身上背负了很多的责任。And what they found is that when someone is engaging in this coaching or mentoring with compassion, there are phys physiological changes and psychological changes in our body. 因为当就是我们在那个导师辅导过程当中呢，然后是特别是带着。同情心做导师辅导的时候呢，我们会发发现一些自己生理还有心理上的变化。And the changes that happen in your body when you're coaching or mentoring are the things that mitigate they work against power stress. 然后这种呢，你身体所发生的变化呢，也是帮你缓解这种权力压力的方式。So one of the best things that we can do for our own energy and psychological well-being and resilience is to keep coaching and mentoring with compassion. So, 就是在在导师辅导或者教练指导过程当中呢，能够帮助我们自己去建立很好的呃心理幸福感、能量以及复原力的方式呢，也是在你做导师辅导和教练。指导的过程当中呢，要带着同情心去做。So you have a powerful, positive influence on the people that you mentor, and also it will have a powerful, positive influence on yourself. 所以这样的话，你不仅可以对你的学员，然后产生非常有利和积极的影响，同时也可以对你自己产生非常有利和积极的影响。So I will stay on now for a few minutes. We will open it up for questions. But for anybody who has to leave,、um, I want to thank you for joining us today. It has been a real privilege to spend time with you. 那接下来呢，我会留几分钟给大家提问。如果有就是朋友想离开的话，那我也非常感谢能够今天跟大家在这里，因为非常荣幸能够给大家带来这样一场讲座。I wish you all the very best in your coaching and mentoring, and I hope to connect with you again soon. 那么我祝愿大家在导师辅导或者在做教练的时候呢，一切顺利。然后大呃也可以有问更多问题的话，也可以联系我。And I'd like to thank EMCC China and Fisher Yu and IC for hosting us today. 所以今天呢，我也非常感谢 EMCC。中国能够来邀请我给大家做这样一场讲座。So, 
We conclude here, but I will stay on for a few minutes if anybody would like to ask any questions. Thank you. 我们的今天的讲座呢就到这里，但是我们会留几分钟给大家提问。如果大家有什么问题的话，现在可以问。啊、uh, ，老师好，我这边有一个问题想请教一下。呃、uh, ，这边刚刚提到的是一个观点。哦哦， oh, oh, <笑>听得见吗？听得见吗？啊，那个刚刚老师谈到的，呃，工作中的四个真实状态，其中有一个叫第三个内在的道德观。那这个点上面呢，他是这么讲的，就是说，呃，是自己的这种为，呃，不是为了取悦他人，呃，也不是基于外在的压力或免于处罚。呃，惩罚这样的一个内在道德观，那在这么这么看来呢，有可能啊，我们有可能发现他的这种观点或者说道德观会有悖于社会，呃，或者说跟社会的这种呃正能量正向的会有会有偏差。那在这个时候，他可能自我处在一个相对短期的幸福观里面，但是从长远来说，他可能不一定会有轻松、真实、长久的幸福观。那面对这样的状态，我们要怎么样去进行辅导呢？我不知道我表达清楚没？嗯 ，Thank you. Uh, I have a question about the internal moral expectations. It is one of it's the third component yes. about the yes. It's it's about the internal moral perspective. And、yes. uh, my question is that the internal moral perspective. Perhaps it can be inconsistent with the social positive energy, because the self, the self well being can be short, and perhaps we, it is difficult for us to build a authentic and long term well being from in the long term. Yes, sorry. So just to just to understand the question, the question is. If we have a conflict between our internal moral perspective and the environment we're in, the organization or the, is that the question? 在就是，呃，丹尼再跟你确认一下这个问题，是不是说这个你的内在道德观，然后可能跟就是社会上的环境它之间有一个冲突在？对呀、啊，他这边讲的是不在乎，他只是在乎自己嘛，不是吧？不是由于免于处罚，或者说基于内在道德观，不是在于外部的压力或的行为嘛？那这个很多时候，这个自身内在的东西，要把它转到正向上面来，肯定是有给自己很多自己内在的东西是会有压力的嘛，是会有呃，这个要遵从社会的道德观和呃企业的价值观嘛，对吧？那你很难完全展示自我自在的一种状态嘛？难以真正的真实。Yeah, because um, because he when he show, when he when he showing his authenticity, yeah, he perhaps he care, he or she cares about him or herself, and perhaps it is hard for her for him or her to transform his. Uh, internal things into something positive, and perhaps it is、uh, hard, difficult for him or her to fully show his authenticity in such an environment, social environment. Yes, so it can be difficult to to feel when it comes to internalized moral perspective.、Um, this is about your own sense, your own kind of compass. Of what you think is right and wrong, what you value, and so for mentees, we can see real difficulty when they feel that they don't fit in that environment. Their values don't align with the social environment that they're in. 嗯，确实是的，就是当我们我们可能也会遇到一些学员，然后我们发现他们确实肯很难就是融入可能这个。大环境里面，然后他们自己的价值观可能跟社会上的一些价值观存在这样的冲突。It can be, it, it's okay to have a different perspective if you value different things. That's okay so long as there is respect for both approaches and for both sets of values. That it, 
that it's a psychologically safe space where people are respected for their different views. 嗯，就是当一个人他有不同的观点或者价值观的时候呢，这个是很正常的事情。然后这个时候呢，我们会要给予他们尊重，尊尊重。这也是我们前面提到的，就是说为他们创造一个心理安全的空间，然后给予他们足够的尊重，这样。But if your mentee feels that they have to pretend and they have to hide their real values and they 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 need to pretend like they're someone else, then over time it has a very negative impact on their psychological well-being. 呃，但是呢，如果你的学员他就是假装自己有这样的观点，然后把他真实的价值观隐藏了，那这样呢，可能随着时间的流逝，可能会对他的。心理幸福感会产生非常消极的影响。Great question, Danny. Thank you. Danny, you you 问了一个非常棒的问题，谢谢。嗯 ，Thank you, Catherine. Catherine. 啊，我也用中文问吧。呃，我我也问一个问题，就是刚才老师分享的有一点还蛮触发我的。他说，很多人就是因为不够真实嘛，其实跟刚才那个谁的问题有点像，所以呢，他的幸福感各方面其实都没有那么好。那其实我我想问老师，在一个问题，就是他在以往的那个 case 中，特别是与老年人打交道，就是像在中国，老年人他可能经历了这种上一代的不容易，他们可能很多时候他不会。把他的真实的想法告诉你听，然后就是用于家人 family 之间这种的，就说就很很拧巴，很纠结。那这个老师有没有好的方法去，呃，去去做导师去，真的是能够梳理通呢？因为我也尝试着用导师的方法去。特别是家里亲戚啊这种的去做这个梳理，我发现其实他们有常规的思想观念的问题，其实挺难挺难改变的感觉。就是你你他有一个需求，但实际上他不是那个真实的，就是跟学员还不太一样。这是我想请老师分享，他有没有什么好的方法？嗯嗯 ，Rebecca， what you what you shared just now inspired me and、just. In most cases,、uh, most of us are not being are not being authentic enough, so that they can they can't develop very good well being. And I want to、uh, share a case about、uh, the interaction with these elderly people, because、um, because perhaps based on their past experiences, they are reluctant. They are not, not will not share their true thoughts with you. And I wonder if there is a way to guide such elderly people to share their authentic thoughts, because their thoughts perhaps are their perhaps are stubborn, and it's difficult to change their their mind because they have some needs that that be that can be not true.、Uh, and this case is different from the mental from the situation with mentee. Yes. Yes. So、uh, one thing I, I would recommend is Carol Dweck's work on mindset. So Kathy, if you can put it in the chat,、um, which shows that people grow and change and can grow and change. So、um, I encourage you to look at that work.、And、do you want to just quickly say that I see, and then I'll answer the question. It's it's about a mindset. It's about a book. Yeah, it's a Carol Dweck is a professor at Stanford. It's a very good book on changing your mindset.、Um, what I would say is that in a mentoring relationship or coaching mentoring relationship, what really matters is the way we set that up, right? The 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 contracting, the not not like paper contracting, the setup of the relationship. So you know, when we do at at Coach Advisor, we run.、Um, Coaching and mentoring accreditation courses for the EMCC, and one thing we spend a long time talking about how to set up the relationship. 呃，这里呢，就是在那个聊天框中里，聊天框里呢 ，Kathy 分享的是，就是 Carol Dweck 他写的一本书，然后这本书可以就跟大家分享一下。他主要讲的是关于一那个改变思维的方式，然后因为。
他可能在成长中，人可能可以成长，他也可以改变。所以这本书呢，也可以给大家一些启发。因为在导师辅导关系当中呢，我们会就是就我们建立一个导师跟学员的关系，然后去可能建立一个合同，然后我们呢也在做就是是关于导师辅导或者教练指导的一些认证课程，然后当中呢也讲了一些关于那个如何建立那个导师或者教练辅导的关系的一些内容。And I think the most important thing is that they know the the code of conduct, the MCC code of conduct, and that you are operating with full confidentiality. That the mentoring and the coach mentoring relationship is different to a normal relationship. It is different to a normal conversation. It is a closed conversation where people can trust. That what they share will not be shared with anyone else. It is confidential. 那最重要的一点呢，就是在基于 EMCC 道德准则框架下呢，是一个要遵守完全保密的原则。这个就是不同于我们常规的关系跟对话。然后在导师辅导过程当中呢，我们是完全呃封闭式的，因为这样呢可以建立让对方对你产生信任，然后去。能够信任，然后从而去更能够开放的去分享他们的想法。So of course there are ethical considerations that we need to take into account, but assuming everything is is okay ethically, then and legally <laughs> that they share with us, then nobody else will know, and this helps to create a space where they don't feel that they will be judged. So then they can be. Open and they can share more honestly what they really think and feel. So, 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 so For some people that I work with,、um, most you know, elderly people for, and, and just some professionals in general,、um, they have never had this kind of relationship before. So they have spent a lifetime at work having to put on a put on a mask like a <laughs> like a mask, right? They feel they have to wear a certain mask, show up a certain way, and. This is the first time in a work context that they learn they can just be themselves. 就也有一些人，就是特别是可能老年人，就是在我们认识老年人，他们在之前呢，就是没有这样的关系经历，因为他们在呃以往的工作当中呢，一直是戴着面具的，他们一直是觉得自己要怎样表现出来都是戴着面具的。然后这也是呢，也是第一次让他们发现，在工作当中呢，可以展现出真实的自己。So when I set up the relationship, I'm very explicit about that. I say I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you what is the right way of thinking or the wrong way of thinking. I'm here to support you and encourage you and help you find a way forward. And this will work best if you feel that you can be open. And I will treat this with confidentiality. So this is why I say that I want to share with you that building such a relationship, in such a relationship, the student will not feel that he is being judged. And then I am not to judge you. I am not to tell you what is right and wrong. I am to support you. I am to encourage you. I am to help you find a way to show your best self. And this is also a way to show your best self. 就是能够非常好的，然后让对方感觉到能够开放的去表达自己。Thank you, Catherine. Good question. Thank you. Really, really helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.、Um, okay. Last question, Michelle. Hello.、Uh, yeah. Thank you.、Uh, I have a quick one. Um, the definition of based on today's session, I learned that the mentoring definition is a little bit merged with coaching already.、Uh, the only difference, what I can tell from a definition perspective, is mentoring still can tell the mentor's 
story or experience in a certain field. Mm-hmm. And but the coping is just curiosity. You don't know, you just ask. Yes, Am I yeah. summarize? Yeah, and what really matters is the way that you set up the relationship with the client, with the mentee. So mm-hmm. That, that they understand how you operate. So it's why we, so our, our business is called Coach Advisor because, yes, we are curious and we facilitate and support people, but also we offer, a, you know, we, we, we're consultants in leadership and teams and so we offer advice and expertise on these things as well yeah. mixed into the relationship. Um, the difference with mentoring is that it's, I think mentoring, the best mentoring is done from a place of curiosity, which in the past it wasn't. But now mentoring is still built around the principles of coaching and curiosity and support. And in order to help people achieve their goals, you as the mentor may share stories or insights that you've had in your own journey for the purpose Mm -hmm. Of supporting your mentee with their journey. Yeah, yeah it's so very helpful. In the past, people would just tell their stories and tell people what to do, but not. It wasn't about that. It wasn't mentee led. It wasn't focused on the goals of the mentee. It was focused on what they wanted to happen. Now, I think you know, new mentoring is really based on the principles of coaching and curiosity and facilitation but we can still offer and share our ideas and our expertise. It's a great way of passing on knowledge and passing on experiences. Yeah. It's very powerful, but it, it is all in service of helping the mentee achieve their goals. Yeah, thank you so much. It's very helpful. We are in the process in the company to evolving some mentoring program today, but today's session is really helpful. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, great to meet you, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Oh, you, I didn't let you translate. Yes, uh, I see. Yes, I'll pause. 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 Yes, I'll 呃，也是通过提问的方式来呃完成的。然后 Rebecca 呢，她的就是她的回答是，就我刚才提到的，我们跟客户之间建立呃关系，这一点是非常重要的。因为其实，在导师呢，他在过去的时候呢，他更多的就是可能可以跟学员就是分享一些故事，然后告诉他应可能一些如何做。然后那个时候呢，主要也并不是说以学员学员为焦点，也不是呃注重学员的目标。但现在呢，就是导师辅导呢，他同时他也是会其实激发学员的好奇心，他会承担一个引导者者的角色。然后除此以外，他也会要跟学员去分享自己的一些故事、一些见解、一些经验，然后以此呢，然后去去支持学员。Okay, we'll finish there. I wish you all the very best with your mentoring. Thank you so much for joining us today.